Lower back pain is one of the most common sources of chronic pain, but most would say you shouldn't foam roll your lower back. This is true as there isn't enough lumbar support to relax and control the roller when it is positioned on the lower back, and the kidneys and the liver don't have a solid bone structure like the ribcage and the shoulder blades to protect them from excessive pressure. You can safely foam roll your lower back as long as you follow these procedures. Lie on your back and position the foam roller so that it is horizontally below your lower back. It is very important that you engage your core throughout the rolling process. Gently roll in one direction only, from the hip up to the thoracic area. Hold the position when you find a tender spot. Remember not to roll on the spine itself, and the purpose is to roll on the perispinal muscle, including the erector spinae and the quadratus lumborum. Poor posture is a common cause of tightened upper back muscles. Begin by lying on your back with the foam roller position underneath your upper back. Your knees should be bent with your feet flat on the floor and your hands supporting your head. Brace your core and lift yourself up into a shallow bridge position. Slowly start rolling up and down between your lower neck and the mid back, stopping at tight areas along the way. Repeat for about 30 seconds. The lats are another area that can become tight due to being hunched over all day. To release this pressure, place your roller under your armpit as you are lying on one side, with your arms extended in front of you. Roll it up and down the side of your back. Work from your armpit to the end of your ribcage, pausing on any tight spots. To perform the chest roll, lie face down with your roller position just below your armpit and one arm extended forward. Press your chest into the roller, roll back and forth. It might seem pointless to be rolling out your chest muscles when you're experiencing tightness in your upper back, but it is essential to truly correct the source of the stiffness. Upper back and shoulder pain are often experienced due to shortened pectoral muscles, which is caused by rounding over towards the computer all day. Do your shoulders need some action? Roll out your deltoids to get mobility back. Lie on your side with the foam roller underneath your right shoulder. Roll slowly up and down over your deltoid muscles. Rotate your trunk slightly so you can hit part of your upper back as well if needed. Repeat for 30 seconds, switch sides and repeat on your left shoulder. Rest your neck on the foam roller at the top where it connects to your head. Slowly turn your head to the right, holding where you feel a tightness. Exhale and turn your head to the left. Repeat for about 30 seconds. When I have intense headaches, especially due to tension in the neck, I like to use my foam roller for an effective self-massage. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe, share and comment. Please also hit the bell so that you will be notified of any new future video release. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness, and if you want to prevent lower back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon. Thank you.